Today we are grocery shopping at a Japanese market in Greater Seattle. Turns out they have all kinds of stuff, not just Japanese items, including super duper cute dolls, $40 mushrooms, roll cakes, Armenian cakes, edible snails from France, rows upon rows of noodles, and so much more. We may not be traveling abroad right now, but we ended up having a lot of fun exploring aisles filled with food we've never seen before. Afterwards, Mamio makes udon and sizzles up the umami dumplings we got from the store. We also do a flight of mochi tasting, and of course, try some yummy Japanese snacks. Thanks to Boksu for sponsoring this video. Hello, darlings! On our way to the Japanese market, we stopped by a drive through coffee stand. So Mamio got her daily coffee, and as for me, around noon, I always have some chocolate. And uh, today, we shall dig in to the box of Boksu! If it's your first time hearing about Boksu, it's a Japanese snack box subscription service. Their boxes are filled with hand-picked premium snacks and have a different theme every month. And this month's theme is Winter in Hokkaido. The box also comes with a tea pairing and culture guidebook, sharing the details of each snack. Let's try three snacks for now and save some for later. I'm interested in this one. It's a pretty design, very yeah. lacy. These are the Funwari Meijin Mochi Puffs with Hokkaido milk. Vegetarian, yes. It looks like meringue. So light. You know when there's fresh snow and you walk on it? It's that sound. I love this detail. Cute art with flowers. I think Santa would really like this. Isn't he nice? It is sweet, but there's uh, some tartness. So those red specks on the top, those are crushed, freeze-dried raspberries. So this cookie uses beet sugar for sweetening. Looks like rabbit. Choo-choo choco train. It's very firm. It's thin but very concentrated. Mm. This is like adult cookie. It's a mature type of sweet. Yeah. And a little fruity. Oh, it contains Hokkaido butter and berry liquor. It's the holiday season and we gifted a box of books to one of my best friends. Although her and her family are over a thousand miles away from us, our taste buds can hang out together and get a taste of Japan. Oh, that's good. That's good. I like that one. My favorite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna try book soup? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Click the link in the description box and use my code to get 10% off. Maybe even send a box to a family or friend as a Christmas gift. Now off we go to the Japanese market. It's almost 3 p.m. The market we're going to is called Uwajimaya, next to Total Wine. There are multiple locations. This is the one in Bellevue. All right, near the entrance, we got the produce section, and then some pre-made sushi and bentos in a Christmas tree with a lot of cute dolls. Usually, I do not get weak in the presence of dolls, but this one is melting my heart. Isn't that adorable? It looks like, kind of like a mushroom now. Oh, look at this! Oh, look at the tail! What is this creature? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but it's so cute! Oh, there's a huge version of this one! Oh, mama! The price is not as cute, but I'm still gonna get it for one of my friends because she loves cute things like this. Okay, in you go! Oh my, so cute! <gasps> look at the tail! Oops! And mommy was looking at some kabocha squash. And look at this durian. $8.99 per pound. All right, we got some adult coconuts in Kiwano. Hey, look what we found, chanterelles. When I went foraging for them, I couldn't find any in the woods. It's okay, we could buy some. I'm looking for a good batch, but you know, they're not like picked this morning or anything. There's nothing quite like a freshly picked mushroom, you know? Masatake is here. But guess what? This mushroom is 40 bucks. Take a look at these garlics. These are called elephant garlic. And you can see why they're called elephant garlic. They are huge. An area called the chef's corner displays barbecue and heated food ready to eat, including teriyaki salmon, tonkatsu, sabashioyaki, and chicken karaage. 
Hmm, what's in the fridge? Oh, there's something called okazubang. Small grab-and-go breads filled with a variety of savory fillings. Oh, that one has chicken adobo, vegan lentil, jerk chicken. Let's get the chicken adobo and the jerk chicken. Oh, look at those cream puffs. That one is matcha flavored. Kimchi cucumber, pickled cucumbers. They also sell some traditional Armenian cakes. Escargot, made in France. Stacks of assorted roll cakes sit like bars of gold. Oh, we have some songpyeon. These are Korean rice cakes. Thai peanut chicken wraps. Chinese style pork. And we have chirashi. Next to the cold foods, they have a hot food section, heated. Now we have the spam nigiri. We got various mochi. And uh, look at this, this looks amazing. Very thick. Is this sweet potato? Yokan imomushi? Alright, I'm gonna try one of those. Okay, those round things are chestnut. Alright, and here we have a bunch of noodles. Instant ramen. Cheese ramen. And uh, we have a Korean one. Kamja tang. Buldak bokum tang myeon. Mamio has a mini thing to say about samyang ramen. That is the first ramen in Korea. When it first came out, it was not, it was a special food and not cheap. Sapporo Ichiban hot and spicy chicken. Hey, these noodle packaging is so funny and fun. Very cartoony. This looks delicious. There's also Vietnamese style instant rice noodles. But since we're at a Japanese market, let's try to get some more Japanese items. Black garlic oil tonkatsu flavor. Nisen Rao, king of ramen. Right, here we have some chilled ramen. Fresh frozen. There is a lot to look at around here. We may not be exploring any faraway places, but it's fun. Right, you got these products from all over the world, and it's not just Asian products. The more I look, I'm realizing, okay, there's some stuff from Europe as well. We got a bunch of breads and buns, ube cookies. It almost looks like sushi, except it's like Christmas themed. They sell this at street food stands in Japan and Korea. So when I was growing up in America, we would go to the Japanese market and get one of these guys. When you pop these open, a ball comes down. Let's get the lychee flavor. This is a sashimi section. Right, we got a bunch of tofu here and some fish. This place is quite big. We're gonna go row by row. Thai tea ice cream. Mmm, that sounds good. Made in Seattle. This ice cream is made on Whitby Island. That's the island here in Washington state. Here we got a bunch of dumplings. Gyoza, mandu, some Korean brands, Chinese brands. I'm sure there's a Japanese brand somewhere around here as well. Here we go, here's a Japanese brand. Ooh, these look so good. Umami gyoza, chicken and shiitake. Umeboshi. Hey, check it out, there's vegan kimchi. Oh, this is very interesting. This is sake. It's called the Aladdin bottle. And if you look closely, it looks very cloudy. Right? And if you shake it up, wow. It looks like a sand that got kicked up. And here we have the fresh seafood section. We have crabs. Those are Dungeness crabs. We caught some of those when we were at Lopez Island a couple weeks ago. Mamiya is gonna get some Japanese seasoning and soup mix. She's gonna make some udon. We got some yam noodles. Now, if you didn't know, these are zero calories. Oh no, five calories. It's the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. But just different shape. Oh, that's so fun. I wanna swim in that and play with those balls. We're gonna try that. There's also like a neutral colored one. Muruku. Southern Indian tidbits. Oh, this is cute. Can't read that text, but it looks like veggie chips. There's something called wasabi cassava chips. We're gonna try it. Mamio found some taro chips, so we'll try that as well. Check it out, lotus root chips and oh, black oyster mushroom crisps. We need this. Oh, I'm totally digging this label design. This one's from Thailand. I wonder what she's making. Is it an oyster omelet? Mommy was gonna get some fish sauce. Interesting, wasabi flavored mayonnaise. There's also sriracha mayo. 
here too. We have some ramen bases here. This one is masatake mushroom, spicy crab miso, scallop white miso, Hawaiian pancake mixes, blueberry acai, banana macadamia nut. We have sambal bakso, the hot chili sauce. This is from Indonesia. Kimchi ketchup. We're in the section that has tea and look at this packaging. I'm guessing each one of these guys, you put it per drink. Oh, this looks very cool. They're very thick noodles. Deep fried noodles, e mian. Oh, check this out. Durian white coffee. That imagery. This one's from Malaysia. Hello Kitty on seaweed sheets. All right, so we have some products that you will see in like a USA store, like a Safeway or something like this. Umami powder, seasoning made from shiitake mushrooms. Herring fillets from Germany. Here's some crackers in the shape of Mount Fuji. We have some cookies from Hawaii. Hey, this looks funny. Volcano popping candy. And there's a green one too. Ooh, check this out. Soft ice cream shaped cute candy. I need that. This one looks very, very sour. I might regret this, but I think I'll regret more not trying it. Okay, Mamiyo wants to try this uh, tamarind. Is it candy? Product of the Philippines. Oh, these are so cute. Sugar candy. I really like this uh, cute diaper packaging. Oh, this is helpful. They put samples of the diaper so you could feel it. It's a plastic model of instant noodles. <laughs> There's an area called J Sweets and they have a bunch of goodies. All right, let us get some mochi. Let's get sakura. One of those. Black sesame. Chocolate banana. All right, got a packet of nine. Right, here we have shampoos, lotions, um, massagers, some beauty products. As we wrap up our grocery shopping, let's get Mamiyo something warm. All right, we're gonna get a steam bun. The one with the purple yam filling, sweet taro. That was a very fun market exploration. Yeah. We went row by row and there was so much to look at. Mom, Mio and I, we are both hungry but I got an Invisalign if you didn't notice and I have to take my liners out and then brush my teeth again. So I'm too lazy to do that. So I'm not gonna eat right now until we get home. However, Mommy O is gonna have some of the, the taro bun. Ooh, purple on the outside and a deeper purple on the inside. Like it. We are back at home and I am hungry. Mamiya, what are you making there? She is making noodles with this soup mix and these are udon noodles. These snacks, we can eat it another day. Let's first eat the things that are time sensitive. The fresh mochi, these are time sensitive. We have instructions here. How to enjoy mochi cream. Eat it within 24 hours because there is fresh cream inside. All right, we gotta eat one every three hours, mom. Each one has a label so we know what we're eating. We got the caramel pudding, red bean, blueberry yogurt, honey cranberry. If we were not filming, we probably would have gotten just two mochi. However, when we film, we wanna show you guys more flavors. Mamio is gonna pan fry the dumplings we just bought. The yam paste balls are so bright. Mainly due to this. Oh, they kind of look like egg yolk. Udong is in progress. All right, it's time for the gyoza. As promised on the package, it is umami. It might look plain on the inside and outside, but it sure has got flavor. There's some tofu in that, green onion, fish cake. This looks nice, mommy -o. We 
winter taste. Somehow the noodles have more flavor than the broth. Let's try the ball of yam paste. It's a little bouncy, but it's not like jello. It doesn't liquefy easily, so if you stop biting, those bits will remain. Tofu absorbs flavor more easily, especially if there's like holes in it, punctures. But that yam paste ball, they're quite solid. It has a similar texture to fish cake balls. However, the yam paste balls are more bouncy. And the fish cake has more flavor than yam paste ball. Instead of oven baking them or using the microwave, Mommy O is gonna pan fry them. Oh, the jerk chicken comes with a slice of plantain. On the left is chicken adobo because you could see that purple from the ube. And on the right is the jerk chicken. Smells like croquette. That is some flavor power. It's spicy in there. Let me look at the ingredient list. It's got molasses, scotch bonnet pepper, black pepper, garlic, cinnamon cloves, thyme. There's a lot of ingredients on here. There's also black bean puree. Next up, chicken adobo. We've had chicken adobo in the Philippines before. This is a Filipino-Japanese snack. Hmm. Sweet and savory. It tastes like a croquette. The outer layer has panko on it, so that makes it crunchy. So, Mami O also made fried rice using this seasoning and soup mix. Ta-da! We're moving on to dessert. This first mochi is blueberry yogurt. When you squish it, it's so nice and fleshy. I love the feeling when I push down on it. However, when I go like this, I get goosebumps. It's like a squeaky friction. When you put your fingers on a chalkboard and you go like this, that's the feeling I'm getting. <laughs> wow. That texture is just... Mm -mm. Oh, it's melty. Yeah, it's almost melting. That whole thing melts like chocolate. This next one is sakura flavored. Sakura is cherry blossom. I prefer the first one more. This one's actually sweeter and it's starting to make me a little thirsty. This one is honey cranberry. Honey cranberry. This is not a typical dessert combo I've come across. Best one so far. Yeah. How do you describe it? That's good. That's great. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's just great. You know that artificial grape candy? It tastes a little bit like that, but even better. It just makes you smile. You know, the imagery it paints is a rabbit and a cat and a dog all cuddling together. So wonderful. This one's caramel pudding. Wow. Oh, it looks the most different, huh? Yeah. The other ones, they have a white cream filling. This one, oh, it must be the pudding. Yeah. yeah, pudding. And then there's something, there's a hole, you see? Caramel. Yeah, that must be the caramel. It's the thickest texture of them all. Hmm, this flavor tastes familiar. It tastes like tapioca pudding. Yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite of these three, mommy -o? Creamy cranberry. My favorite as well is the honey cranberry. And tomorrow we shall try more mochi. It's the next day and we're gonna finish eating the mochi because they said to finish it in uh, 24 hours. We have five left. Chocolate banana, black sesame, red bean, peach yogurt, and green tea. The first three mochi we tried, Mamio and I, we ate a quarter each. So we had a whole half left and we finished them today, earlier today. Yesterday, our favorite was honey cranberry. However, today, when I ate it on a clean palate, I preferred the caramel pudding. The thing about yesterday was after we ate the gyoza and the noodles, and then we had the dessert. So we had all the like other flavors on our tongue, so that affected our taste bud. But on a clean palate, I prefer the caramel pudding. This is the peach yogurt. Smell it! <laughs> Oh, smells really nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, this would be like a wonderful perfume. Mm. That's my favorite. Mm. That's the best one. That one, it's like the imagery it paints is like a blossoming flower. Time lapse mode. Because you are blossoming flower. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I really love that. It's just perfect for you. <laughs> 
yeah, I like it too. For me, it's too artificial. I just had another meal about 10 minutes ago and I brushed my teeth. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if like, I don't really taste the artificialness as much, maybe because my toothpaste is still in my mouth. I don't know, I rinsed it out. You can't avoid it, you guys. Oftentimes, your experience of food will be affected by something else. So no matter what review we give, your taste buds might not feel the same as us. This one's the red bean. It's yummy, but it's nothing new to us. It's a flavor that we've had many times before. This one's the chocolate banana. In terms of scent, the peach yogurt has the strongest smell. There are teeny chocolate chips in there. Mm. I like the bitterness of cocoa. The black sesame, you can see on the outside, they're little dots. Those must be the black sesame seeds. We got the white cream again, and then the grays. I think this one's gonna be really good. It's probably gonna taste nutty. It tastes like powdered black sesame. Wow, I like it. This one's the green tea. Smells like matcha. This is something that we've had many times before, so it probably won't taste like any surprise. Definitely tastes like matcha. Hint of bitterness. What is your favorite of all nine mochi flavors we tried? As you know, I'm a big fan of aziki bean, but this time, sesame mochi is the best for me. As for me, the caramel pudding. <laughs> and the peach yogurt. Oh, peach yogurt. Because, you know, like the black sesame is tasty, but I've had it so many times before, it's very familiar. So the flavors that we normally don't have, that's what really just made me feel excited about life. I gotta say though, instead of eating a bunch of them in a row, it's more enjoyable if you have it one piece in the day, or like space them out. Two days later, and we're gonna try three more Boksu snacks. Do you like Mommy O's scarf and my scarf? <laughs> it's the same scarf, do you see? <laughs> what I see? <laughs> and we got our Christmas tree joining us. It's um, semi-nude. We didn't put our ornaments yet. Just got the lights on. Thought it'd be nice to uh, do the snack tasting here. It feels more festive, right? What shall we try next? This. Oh, <laughs> it looks like a corn snack. Oh, that looks so nice and toasted. Mm -hmm. What does the culture guidebook say about this one? Ooh, this yuzu one looks good too. Sapporo okaki o yaki toukibi. Eh? It's mochi? Crunchy mochi. Mochi tends to be soft and like, you know, fleshy-ish. Have you ever tried a crunchy mochi? That... It's interesting. Oh, look at that. It has a hint of corn and it's umami. In Korean, I describe it as japjare. Soy sauce. Mm, soy saucy? Yeah, soy mm. saucy. yeah, you're right. Soy saucy. If you look towards the bottom of the bag, we have actual corn kernels right there. You see, right here? Next up, let's try the Funwari Baum White Chocolate Soft Baum Kuchen Stick Cake Ooh, it's a cake! Look at those layers! Whoa, the outside, is that white chocolate? Mm. Okay, so the outside is not spongy, it's kind of like melting in my fingers right now Usually cake, it doesn't have a chocolate on the top and the bottom Another one of those snacks that is perfect for a tea time. Mm -hmm. mm. On to the third snack of the night, and then we're gonna start getting ready to go to bed. Sweet slumberland. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be. Oh, it gonna oh be? we had that. How about this is manju. Oh, manju. And this one is like a yuzu, it contains yuzu in it. Oh, what's that? It has no name, no label on it. What can it be? Oh, is it this thing here? Oh, white peach kibi dango mochi. Since we had a lot of mochi the other day, we're gonna save that one for later. And instead, we're gonna try the manju. Mommy O loves manju. 
so let's do that it's the Hokkaido evaporated milk manju uh, made with milk from Hokkaido uh, mommy O is uh, <laughs> using her fingernail to cut it in half <laughs> to make it uh, you know easier split Ooh. oh nice <laughs> job that was a pretty clean cut Ding. It is soft, but it's also very thick. The paste is so concentrated. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite of the three? Manju. Oh, manju. Okay. <laughs> mm. I really liked the corny one, but I also love the cake because that has the chocolate on the top and the bottom. For those of you who guys tried the Boksu box this month, what's your favorite snack? Let us know in the comment section. Thanks again to Boksu for sponsoring this video. And remember to click the link in the description box to get 10% off. And what is going to be next month's theme? I'm curious. You know, and uh, they never have the same snacks in the boxes. So always something new to try and always something new to look forward to. 2020 is going to come to an end. 2021 is going to be here soon. Let's hope for the best for 2021. Have a cozy winter season ahead. Bye bye! Happy holidays! Happy holidays! <laughs> Remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For food and travel in Korea, check out my other channel, Sweet and Tasty TV. Toodles, my noodles! Are you guys ready to walk in the snow through your mouth? Okay, mom, why don't you be the right foot and I'll be the left foot? Okay, okay so let's take turns. Hmm? Okay. You wanna go first? You go first. Okay. <laughs> I need to say this. The best. <laughs> oh, this looks like a caramel popcorn ish. Oh, 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 So about this lighting setup, her brother Kevin was holding up a floor lamp for 20 minutes. Oh, I wouldn't last for five. But then again, he's a bodybuilder. Thanks to Yuna and John for joining us on Boksu Unboxing with us. Merry Christmas and Merry Snacking everyone! And remember to save a cookie for Santa. Wink wink! <laughs>